Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Wednesday, February 14th, 2024. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy Valentine's Day and happy hump day for everyone here. Uh, here's a look at the ES in the daily time frame. And after a heavy dose of selling pressure early and late on Tuesday here, we've seen a little bit of a bounce back in uh, pre market trading quite an aggressive bounce back we are now back above the previous sessions midpoint and we are approaching 5000 for a test from below is this a day one sell off here or are we about to bounce back like we've seen multiple times after one or two day pullbacks lately the depending on which market you look at whether it's the YM or RTY those uh, quite a bit more bearish yesterday while the ES and the NQ were a bit more muted, but still a decent amount of selling pressure. I mean, this was 100 points of range, and we haven't really seen that in a good long while. It's the biggest day of range we've seen just in the short window of time here. Uh, but also, you have to go back quite a bit to see perhaps last summer of 23 to see kind of heavier selling pressure than that. Is this a sign of bigger things to come? Today's early reaction at 5,000 from below will tell a lot. If there is uh, an early rejection after this overnight strength, we could be looking at an inverted check mark day down that leads to more weakness. Uh, however, that has not really played out well over time. Every single time this thing is pulled back, it's been able to bounce back just fine each and every rotation. Uh, 5,000 is going to be the big level to watch here. If it's able to recover that level, we could be looking at a deep pullback today that kind of runs the stops back up, a rejection there, and we could be looking at an inverted check mark day down that begins a pattern of weakness up ahead over the next one, two, or maybe three weeks. Uh, things are getting overstretched at the moment for various stocks, but at the same time, the markets continue to chug along. So this is going to be an important retest from below 5,000. Any early rejection there, uh, a failure to hold the previous session's midpoint of 88 quarter, those will be early signs that perhaps we may be looking at uh, a pullback uh, that's greater than what we just saw yesterday. At the moment, still very, very bullish until proven otherwise. If we take a look at the NQ, this one also had... Quite a bit of selling pressure in the previous session. Again, not quite as much as the YM or RTY. Uh, this one rotating back to, to and above the previous session's midpoint already. And like the ES has continued to respond to the bullish Pima trigger zone here time and time again. So again, are we about to see another bounce back day? That takes us way back up the range. Are we about to see this? or any of these days here where after weakness we've seen the thing power back to the upside. This 17.8 uh, level is going to be very important here and again any failure to hold the previous sessions midpoint will be an early indication that perhaps we could be failing and an inverted check mark day down could be in play. As of right now this market remains quite bullish the overnight trend is quite bullish Intraday VWAP as of right now remains uh, trending higher, and those are characteristics of, of strength as of right now. So there would need to be quite a rejection this morning in order for bears to be able to defend into the strength and try to push this thing down. As of right now, this market remains quite bullish still, but maybe this is an early ripple, an early sign of things to come. Taking a look here at crude oil, this one's up a little bit here trading around 78 hasn't really been able to get uh, beyond 78 in, in big fashion here it's kind of been hanging out there at the moment uh, a good reversal off the previous year's close has taken us higher uh, the previous month had a 10 point range and we were looking for another 10 point move or 10 point range for the month of February right now with the low of 7141 a 10 point move would be 8141 and that would put us to new highs for the year can this thing continue to push higher and stretch for the previous session's highs or previous month's highs? Previous midpoint here would be uh, the previous year's midpoint. All of those levels come into view here pretty soon. 
And again, bulls looking to defend pullbacks for continuation up. As of right now, very narrow range of action, just 64 ticks of range, 31% of average inside day right now. Any pullback could provide an opportunity for bulls to defend and stretch this thing towards 79, 80, and perhaps that 81, 41 up above. Uh, as of right now, we do have crude oil inventories here later on, so we are compressing ahead of that and crude oil inventories could provide a bit more juice. But right now, overall, this market remains quite bullish. Pullbacks to be defended until proven otherwise. Looking at gold, gold had quite a, uh, a move lower in the previous session, a huge sell-off uh, compared to what we've seen before. This market finally got to the 2000 level for the first time this year. We mentioned before that if it gave up 2040, we could finally look at uh, a, a target in the 2000 zone. It's a 40 point range on either side of 2040. We're at 2080s up here, 2000s down here, and this has been the range for the year so far. Now, are we about to break further out of this range? Uh, we've discussed the compression that played out late last fall. This is a very similar compression here. It broke down and rallied back up. Is this the first indication of a failure out of this range that would take us lower and perhaps even snap us back. Um, we'll have to see how price responds at the 2000 level. Any failure there and we could be opening up some uh, downside price action back toward 1900 or even 1880 below. So this is going to be an important here. Overall this market hasn't wanted to get out of this range. So this could be a thrust reversal buy opportunity that takes us back up a fade after trend day, if you will, back toward 2020, 2025, maybe even higher if it can get going. So 2000 has been support, and a failure to push through that level could provide a bounce back opportunity here for gold. Looking at the YM, YM big time dose of selling pressure in the previous session, over 800 points of range, finishing the day with 802 points of range. One of the larger days that we've seen, and a downside day at that. A huge push through the previous uh, pivot low here. Was able to bounce back a little bit, but is currently holding below the previous session's midpoint. Again, this early dose of strength here, how is it going to be met with uh, once the RTH session comes on board? Are we going to see bears pile on and push this thing back down? Is this the initial upward portion of the check mark, inverted check mark, before we see the broader push downward? Uh, again, this market has been quite bullish. It's been able to shake off this kind of weakness time and time again. You look back here, heavy day down, right back up. Heavy day down, right back up. Multiple days down, right back up. Heavy day down, right back up. So this market has been able to shake off those types of selling events. However, this could be a sign of broader market pressures to come, especially if this bounce back doesn't materialize as we've seen. Now, full on breakdown really occurs at around the 38 level here, 38.1. Once it's able to break back below that point, it opens up this lower portion here between 37K and 37.3. At the moment, we're still staying just above that level, perhaps the head to a developing head and shoulder style pattern. But until we break that level, we're still in the upper range right now. So continue to watch this 38.5 previous uh, session's midpoint. Any failure to get through that level or find acceptance through that level could suggest that we may be attacking the lower support level up ahead. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this develops here heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.